Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video about how I package my shoe sales. One of you had asked me to do a video about how I package my shoe and my bag sales. Don't have any bag sales to show you, but I do have a couple of shoes that sold, so I'm going to show you how I package them and get them off to my customer. So if you want to see how that's all done, then just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Adrienne. I am a part-time reseller. I resell primarily online. I also sell some things locally here in Arizona. So furniture, bigger items, that's what I sell locally here in Phoenix, Arizona. And like I had mentioned, one of you had asked me to do a video about how I package my shoe and my bag sales. I don't have any bag sales to show you, but I do have a couple shoe sales to show you. So we'll get into that in just a second. Now I did do a video about how I package my clothing sales. I'll link that up in the cards up above for you so that you can see that. In that same video, I am packaged a couple, I think three or four sales or purchases that I made on Poshmark just to give you an idea of how other sellers um, package their items. So make sure you watch that at any time just if you're looking for tips on how to package your sales on Poshmark, Mercari, or eBay. So watch that whenever you have the time. But without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so I'm using this little baby brush that I got from Dollar Tree. I love this brush to just kind of dust off any little dust particles that may have gotten onto the shoes after I photographed it. I do live here in the desert in Phoenix, Arizona, so as much as I try to avoid it, little particles tend to sneak into my items and it's not bad. It's just that for my reassurance, I want to make sure that everything is dusted off before I ship it out and yeah that it looks presentable by the time a customer receives it. I do care about the customer experience, so I want my shoes or any of my items to look like they may have been given to them by, I don't know, like a friend or relative in that same quality. I want everything to look very nice, very clean. I don't want my customer disappointed at all. Okay, now I'm going to use some shoe polish that I also got from Dollar Tree. This is good for leather shoes only. Please don't use this on faux leather. Um, so basically I'm using this just to add some shine to the shoes and it doesn't really add much color to it. It's just more so for polish, just like it says. I use this to buff out any scuff marks that might be on the shoes. So you can see I got that little scuff mark out from the top there. So that it looks as like new as possible. Um, the other shoe I can see a little mark on the inside of the booties so I'm going to try to work to buff that out. These shoes are meant to be distressed so I'm not working at it too much. I want to make sure that it still looks distressed but that little mark inside is kind of annoying me right now so I'm working to get that out. So just kind of work it along the in the shoe, try to make it look very nice so my customer is happy. All right, we're going to use some tissue paper. I get mine from Dollar Tree. We're also going to use these really cool Poshmark themed thank you stickers that I get off of Poshmark. I'll put the closet name down below where you can get these stickers in case you want them for yourself. Now I'm going to use a single sheet of tissue, just tear it in half and I'm going to crumble it up and stick it inside the booties. Do the same for the other side, crumble it up, stick it inside, and this will just help ensure that the shoes keep their shape while they're in the package going out to the customer because you never know how much things rattle and shake in the postal service men's um, or women's truck. So now I'm going to use a single piece of tissue paper and going to wrap it around the shoe. What this does is it helps to protect the shoes from scuff marks and from scratches. So if there's any embellishments on the shoe or anything really, I mean, while well, things are moving around, nothing gets scratched, nothing gets damaged, and you have a happy customer. So use a sticker to seal off the tissue paper. So I'm going to repeat the same steps. So I'm going to take the tissue paper, wrap it around the shoe, and seal it off with a sticker. 
Now I'm using these clear poly bags which were in my Amazon favorites video. I'll link that up above in the cards in case you have, haven't seen that but I buy these off of Amazon and this keeps the shoes together so that they're not moving and rattling around in the package and it looks pretty nice when it gets to my customer. Now when you're wrapping shoes with a heel it's a little bit harder sometimes the tissue paper tears but that's okay just as long as the majority of the shoe is wrapped up and it's still protected. You can see that there was st were studs around the ankle of the shoe so I want to make sure that part at least is wrapped up so that it doesn't scratch the other shoe. Alrighty, on to my favorite part of the shipping process. I'm going to make my packages look super cute and presentable. So I'm adding a sticker onto some wrapping paper that I just put around my package. Um, I'm including a thank you card that I got at Posh Fest, and that's all you gotta do. Make your packages look cute. Um, now with this other one, I'm going to use an ornament that I made at work. I'm just going to make sure that the hook is facing the package so the customer doesn't get poked by it. This one's actually going to a great friend of mine. So thank you so much if you're watching this. And yeah, I just added some jute around it, included a super cute card. Again, I got these at Posh Fest. Now you don't have to do all of this. I don't do it for eBay and Mercari just because it adds to the weight of the item. But um, I do it for Poshmark and it helps to create a very positive customer experience and also helps me get some really amazing love notes for my customers. Alrighty, my favorite box for shipping shoes for Poshmark is the medium flat rate box. I already have the shoes inside. I'm just going to add these bubble thingies that I get from my Amazon packages. I don't know what they're called, but I recycle those. I'm putting it on top so that my shoes don't move around too much. There you see. And now I'm going to close it up and seal it off with my heavy duty Poshmark tape. I got this from the Posh Fixings closet on Poshmark. I'll put a link below for it. You kind of have to watch that closet to see when they release some more. Now I'm going to write a little note to myself to help me remember which shoes are inside the box because the boxes will look exactly alike. And that's it. All I got to do is slap on the shipping label. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me this week. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful sales week and lots of sales days ahead.